it. Now that Super Bowl 52 is over, ad execs discuss if buying commercial time makes much of a difference. Megan Olson from MediaWorks is joining us with some insight on this. Good morning. Well, if you didn't like the game uh -huh. and you didn't like the halftime show, there were so many great ads last night and a lot of different themes. Um, we had humor. Yes. So there was lots of humor. There was a lot of nostalgia, some throwbacks to some old spots. Um, and there was a lot of just... There was emotion in yes, there. That Toyota so commercial in the very beginning of the game with the Paralympics, that got Agreed. right away. So, Agreed. yep. All right, so the money that they spend on these commercials, talk about how much it is sure. and how does that then manifest into um, product sales for them? Is it worth sure. it? Well, it costs about $5 million to buy one 30-second spot. Wow. Um, and you saw multiple spots being aired last night right. from the same brand. So Do they get discounts? Is it five million well, a hit? If they're good negotiators, like <laughs> we are at MediaWorks, of course they do. But um, but a lot of um, a lot of people think that it's a great way to keep the brand in top of mind. Okay. Um, yeah. And also, there's repetition of the message, which keep, makes people think about it. And you think about all the things that you do um, while you're watching the Super Bowl, and it makes sense to run more than one spot. So, so let's talk about some of them, because sure. one of the ones that, or oh, so this is the Alexa spot, yes. which, uh, which I th this was my favorite. I thought this was hysterical. So this is actually USA Today's favorite spot from the um, the Super Bowl last night, and even just. Last night they had 24 million views on YouTube of the See, spot alone. So that's worth it, it. Even beyond the game, you have so much social media play with these ads, and it's it's worth it. But that ad was a minute 30. So based yes. on those, that's a 15 million dollar ad if they didn't negotiate. Exactly. Downward. All right. So let's talk about one of the other ones that sure. a lot of people are talking about this morning. Oh. The um, <laughs> you had to love the it. Dirty Dancing. Yes. I mean, how they they recreated this famous scene from Dirty Dancing, and it's an NFL spot. Um, which is great because the NFL's had a lot of bad press this year. So I think this let people view them in a little bit of a different light. Um, and they also ran multiple spots to promote this throughout the game. All right, let's let's we only have 30 seconds. I want to talk about the Tide commercial oh, yes. because that and they they ran several, they but did. the Tide commercial it was actually it was very funny. It was a very so clever comical. take. They, yeah, I mean, there's so many of them. Um, they even used the uh, the guy from the Old Spice commercial. Yeah. So they really got creative, and they really were surprising. You didn't expect to see a lot right. of these images as part of a Tide commercial. So also another great PR move for Tide because of such bad press rate with recently the, yeah. with the Tide pods. So brilliant. It made sense to run multiple spots. And yes, they spend a lot of money, but I think it's going to pay off in the long run. So this year was a hit for you, I'd Definitely say. Definitely a hit. All right. Megan, thank you so much. Thank That's why you. we always go over those.